What's going on YouTube? Welcome to this Diagnostic World video. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to update your iCoreSoft scan tool correctly. The reason I'm making this video is because we get a lot of emails from customers and people who haven't even bought through our website complaining that they can't update their iCoreSoft scan tool and quite often they'll get an error message saying something along the lines that the the serial number is not recognized or it's not an iCoreSoft product. Something like this here we've got, not sure if you can read this, but it says this serial number is not iCoreSoft product serial number. So this is an example of exactly what is happening and why people um, are not able to actually update their scan tool. So first of all, I'm going to give you a little introduction. The scan tools are available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. And we have all manner of scan tools available on this website. So if you're looking for a BMW scan tool, we have those. If you're looking for a Mercedes scan tool, we have those. Land Rover, Jaguar, uh, everything to cater for everybody's needs. As you can see, we have a wide range of manufacturers here. That's just where you buy the tools from. To actually update your scan tool, what you need to do is go on to the iCoreSoft website. So just type in your browser, www.icoreSoft.com and you will be welcomed to this page providing you are on the home. So this is just really a scrolling screenshots of different products that the iCoreSoft uh, manufacturer have actually produced. So what we need to do from the menu here, we need to click on to support and updates. And this is where you download the correct uh, software to actually update your product. Now, it's very important to understand that different products have different update tools. So, for example, we have right here, we have this is called an iCoreSoft i980 kit and it's for Mercedes smart and sprinter vehicles. Now, on the other hand, we have a kit here called LRV 1.0, so this is for Jaguar and Land Rover vehicles. Now these are different generation kits, therefore they use completely different software to do the updates and register the tools. Well registering is not a problem, it's really just the updates. So this has been loading here in the background and this gives us a new page so you can see we're on the support and updates page and now it's giving us lots of different options to actually um, choose the software which we require. Okay, so if you have, say for example, a version one or version two tool, and this is what the version two tool likes, looks like, this is what the version one tool looks like. You can see at the bottom there, this one has MB version 2.0, this one has LRV 1.0. It doesn't matter what the letters are, what you're really looking for is whether it says V 2.0 or V 1.0. If that's the case, then you need to click on this one here, software update for V 1.0 and V 2.0 products. So whether this is a tool for BMW, Land Rover, Mercedes, Volvo, it doesn't really matter. This is what you need to click on. It gives you a list of all the products that are covered under this update. And from here, it gives you a link to download the updating tool for these products. Okay, now if we have, if we click on to the next one, you see these two kits kind of look the same, but they're not. This is what we call a second generation product. And a second generation product will look like this. So this is the Mercedes-Benz version, it's MB2, but you might have something like VAG2 or VOS2 or BM2 or KHD2. Anything which looks like this, it doesn't have any buttons along this side of the tool. This is a, a series or series second generation tool and this is what you need to click on. So these are all the different second generation ones and then there's the update tool for that particular product. Now we go to the iCoreSoft first generation products and this is an example of the first generation product. You see how that looks, that's got i980k there and again all of the products so the i980 is there and then that's a download tool for these two. So you get the idea of where I'm coming from. Different products have different update tools and if you're downloading the wrong update tool to try and update, say for example if you're downloading um, the first generation 
product tool but you're trying to update a version 1.0 kit that's when you're going to get the problem of uh, it's not a recognized ICOS or serial number. Um, one thing to be aware of, well a few things to be aware of actually, um, the ICOS of i90 i910, i810, i9102 and i990 the iCarsoft have confused a lot of people here because these kits don't look like that. The i910 kit looks like this one here, but they've put the wrong logo there. And it's quite common for people to think that an i910 kit is a first generation product. It is, but it uses a different update tool. So for any of these products, i910, i810, i910, i9102 and i990 use this update tool here. Um, this is for a heavy duty tool, so this is something entirely different. One thing that you do need to be aware of is if you click onto the second generation products and you're trying to update a VAG2 or a VOS2, this product used to be called VAG2, but there was a little bit of a problem with um, the uh, the name of the product. I think the, the Volkswagen Audi group weren't happy with iCarsoft for using their name, so they've had to change it to VOS, which is something like Volkswagen Audi Workstation. Uh, so if you do have a VAG2 and you can't find it, Make sure you're clicking this one here, VOS2, and it's that download tool there. And once again, this should solve any problems that you're having with this error message here. The serial number is not recognized. If you're getting this message, I'm 99.9% .9 certain it's because you're using the wrong updating tool. Um, and it's just really a bit of, as I say, the video is just a preventative measure because, as I say, we get a lot of people asking, why isn't my product being registered is this product a fake or a non-genuine product well we only stock 100% genuine products every single product we sell is available to be updated on the official iCarsoft website there are fakes out there please don't mistake our kits with the fake units our kits are 100% genuine um, so if you do have any problems by all means put a message in the, um, the comments box below this will uh, ultimately allow us to see if there's anything else that we're missing uh, if you're having any other issues with the icos of products uh, updates that is then by all means put the uh, put a comment in the box below and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and i really hope this has helped